if you are interested to learn data analysis using power bi check this out from this course you will learn how to convert any raw data into an interactive multi page dashboard to analyze and visualize trends and patterns we will use power bi dax power query and visuals to create this dashboard you will learn how to create this dashboard from scratch in a step by step process now it's time to step up and make things happen break free let's learn data analysis power bi is an interactive data visualization and business intelligence software developed by microsoft power bi contains tools that helps you aggregate analyze visualize and share the data data models created from power bi can be used for telling stories through charts visuals what if scenarios and forecasting in this course you will learn how to use the raw data available from any data sources to build an interactive multi page dashboard using dax power query and visuals power bi can connect through multiple data sources both in cloud and local machines transform and clean the data into a data model and create interactive dashboards using charts graphs or maps that helps in data analysis and data visualization with power bi you can analyze real time hidden trends and patterns and create reports from a large data set that are visually immersive with interactive insights power bi consists of a desktop application called power bi desktop an online saas service called power bi pro service and power bi mobile apps which can be accessed on windows android and ios devices with its seamless connectivity any analysis performed in power bi can be shared with other power bi users within or outside the organization hey there my name is skills i'll be your host in this course here we learn as a team let's do it so what are you waiting for let's get started first thing we need to do is download and install power bi desktop by visiting power bi official website that is power bi.microsoft.com under products we have multiple options select power bi desktop and download the software Power BI desktop is free to use. However, if you want to publish and share your reports with others, then you need to subscribe to Power BI Pro. We 
we have two options to download Power BI Desktop. Let's use the second option. Once the software is downloaded, double click and install the same. Since I have already installed the Power BI desktop on my system, I am not reinstalling the same. Download the supporting files attached in this section and get access to all the files used in this course. Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an interactive opportunity analysis dashboard. This is a multi-page dashboard and we'll have two pages. In the first page, we will add KPIs with details like Opportunity Count, Opportunity Type and Count, Opportunity Count by Sales Stages. Opportunity count by product names. Opportunity count by month and whether they are self driven or affiliate driven. And finally, we have opportunity count by country. Based on the slicer selection, our data gets updated dynamically. In the second page, we have added visuals like Total Sales Total Factored Sales Sales Difference Percentage then we have average sales, average opportunity days. Next we have total sales vest, factored sales by month. Total sales by client. Total sales by products. Total sales by segment and country. Total sales by segment. 
total sales by country. Then we have total sales by opportunity size and finally total sales by affiliates. Based on the slicer selection, our values gets updated dynamically. These slicers are interconnected and a selection in this page will change the selection in the first page. These visuals will clearly tell us how the business is performing. Now, you might have a specific requirement in your mind and this example may or may not match that requirement, which is normal. However, once you learn these concepts, you can apply them on any raw data, one way or the other, to get meaningful insights. It's all about learning the logic and then customizing and applying those logics on your scenarios to get desired results. Simple as that. So without much delay, let's get started. Welcome back. Open a new Power BI file. Now, we need data to create our dashboard. To upload the data to Power BI, we will use Get Data option. Under Home tab, click on Get data option. Here, we have multiple data sources. Click on more for additional data sources. It takes some time to load the complete list. Here, we will select the Excel workbook. Click on Connect. Under Download Files, open the folder Practice Files. Here, open the folder Dashboard Files. Select the Excel file Opportunity Analysis Dashboard 1. Click Open. Under Navigator tab, we can find all the sheets in the Excel file. Select each one of them one by one. Below, we have two options, Load and Transform Data. Click on Transform Data option. This will activate Power Query Editor. On the left side, each sheet in the Excel file is appearing as a query. Based on the query selected, the data will appear in the middle. Here, we will check for any data errors. Common errors will be incorrect column headers or data type appearing incorrectly. On the right side, we can find all the applied steps in each of the queries.
once we are done with checking the data for any errors. We need to apply these changes. Under Home tab, select the option Close and Apply. Now, our data is loaded in Power BI. Here, we have three options on the left side. First one is the report view. This is where our visuals will appear. Second one is the data view. This is where we can find all our data sheets. Third one is the model view. This is where we will create relationships between data sheets. Select data view. Under fields, we can find all the sheets in the Excel workbook appearing as tables. Here, data table is the fact table or the main table and all other tables are dimensional tables or lookup tables. Since we have date in data table, we need to create a calendar table or date table. We will add columns like date, year, month and month number. Under table tools, click on new table. Add the syntax as Calendar equals var cal table equals calendar auto. Here, cal table is a variable name. You can add any name. We are using calendar auto function to generate dates based on starting and ending dates in our data set. Here, calendar table is a variable name. You can add any name. Variable name should be written without spaces. We will add columns within this variable name.
Here, we have added two variable names, cal table and calendar table. You can add any name as variable name. You need to add it without a space in between. In cal table variable name, we are using the calendar auto function. Calendar auto function returns a table with a single column named date that contains a contiguous set of dates. The range of dates is calculated automatically based on the data in the model. Second variable name is calendar table. Calendar table is used to add columns based on date column that is generated. We will add columns like year, month number and month. Once done, press enter. Our calendar table is created. We need to change the date column format to date instead of date and time. Now, we need to sort the month column by month number column since month column is in text format and when we create a visual, the data will get arranged in ascending order instead of month order. Select the month column. Under column tools, sort by column option, select month number. Next step is to create relationships between tables, either directly or indirectly. Click on model view. If you notice, Power BI has created few connections automatically based on common column headers. This may or may not be correct. Let's delete them all using manage relationship option. Next, let's rearrange the tables in an order. Now, connect calendar table date column with date table date column. Product table product ID column with data table product ID column. Opportunity table Opportunity ID column with data table opportunity ID column. Affiliate table affiliate ID column with data table affiliate ID column. Client table client ID column with data table client ID column. Data table, sales stage ID column with sales stage, sales stage ID column. Client table, country column with 
லொக்கேஷன் டேபிள் கண்ட்ரி காலம் well we have created all our connections in total there should be seven connections next let's create measures click on either report view or data view First step is to create a new table where all the measures will be stored. Under Home tab, click on End the Data option. Add the table name as All Measures. Click on Load. A new table is created with a blank column. Our first measure will be to calculate average opportunity days. Average opportunity days is nothing but average of values in data table opportunity days column. Select the all measures table. Right click to create a measure add the syntax as average opportunity days equals average data table opportunity days column press end our measure is created we don't need the blank column anymore so let's delete it our next measure is to calculate average sales average sales is nothing but average of sales value in data table actual sales create a measure add the syntax as average sales equals average data table actual sales column press enter our measure is created change the format to currency with two decimal places our next measure is to calculate opportunity count opportunity count is nothing but count of opportunity id column in data table create a measure add the syntax as opportunity count equals count day data table opportunity id column press enter 
our measure is created. Our next measure is to calculate total sales. Total sales is nothing but sum of data table actual sales value. Create a measure, add the syntax as total sales equals sum data table actual sales column press enter our measure is created Change the format to currency with two decimal places. Our next measure is to calculate total factored sales. Total factored sales is nothing but sum of data table factored sales column. Create a measure. Add the syntax as Total factored sales equals sum data table factored sales column press enter our measure is created change the format to currency with two decimal places Our next measure is to calculate sales difference. Sales difference is nothing but difference between total sales and total factored sales. Create a measure, add the syntax as sales difference equals divide Total sales, comma, total factored sales, minus 1, press enter, our measure is created, change the format to currency with two decimal places. Now, we have created all our measures. In the next video, we will work on visuals. Welcome back. Let's create visuals using the measures that we have created. Click on report view. Our dashboard will have two pages, Sales Opportunity Analysis and Sales Analysis. Rename the page as Sales Opportunity Analysis. Add a text box. Add the text as Sales Opportunity Analysis Font style will be Segway UI and font size will be 20 Now, our first visual will display opportunity count. 
select a card visual. Drag and drop opportunity count measure to it. Font style will be DIN and font size will be 45. Change the font color to white. Change the background color to blue. Add a shadow effect and a shape outline. Our first visual is created. Next, our second visual will display opportunity count by opportunity size. Select a clustered bar chart. Drag and drop opportunity size column from opportunity table to Y axis. Opportunity count measure to X axis. Bar color will be a shade of blue. Add data label. Remove the X and Y axis title. Change the title as Opportunity Count by Opportunity Size. Add a shadow effect and a visual border. We have the result. We have three types of opportunities. Small, large and medium. We have the count of opportunities. Our next visual will be to count the opportunities based on sales stages. In a normal scenario, there are 5 sales stages. Under visualization pane, select a funnel chart.
ഡ്രാഗൺ ഡ്രോപ്പ് സെയിൽസ് സ്റ്റേജസ് കോളം ഫ്രം സെയിൽസ് സ്റ്റേജസ് ടേബിൾ ടു കാറ്റഗറി ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി കൗണ്ട് മെഷർ ടു വാല്യൂസ് ചേഞ്ച് ദ ഫോൺ സൈസ് ആൻഡ് ഫോൺ സ്റ്റൈൽ under data label we have options such as data value percentage of first percentage of previous data value along with percentage of first and previous let's select data value here we have five stages stage 1 is leads stage 2 is qualify stage 3 is solution stage 4 is proposal and stage 5 is finalize let's change the colors add a shadow effect and a visual border title will be opportunity count by sales stages Our next visual will be to display opportunity count by product name. Duplicate the visual. Clear the existing selection. Change the chart type to area chart. Drag and drop product name column from products table to x axis. opportunity count measure to y axis add markers and change the color to black add data label remove the x and y axis title
title will be opportunity count by product name we have the result this visual help us understand the products with highest conversions and lowest conversions our next visual will show opportunity count by self and affiliate driven in different months duplicate the visual and clear the existing selection change the chart type to ribbon chart drag and drop affiliate driven column from affiliate table to legend month column from calendar table to x axis opportunity count measure to y axis add data label and change the orientation to vertical change the font style and font size as applicable add a title as opportunity count self driven versus affiliate driven this visual help us understand how many opportunities were generated by self and affiliates simple as that our next visual will show opportunity count by country duplicate the visual clear the existing selection change the chart type to stack bar chart drag and drop country column from location table to y axis opportunity count measure to x axis add data label and adjust the size if required add a title as opportunity count by country this visual help us understand the top and bottom performing country in terms of opportunities next let's add slices
slicers will help us sort and filter the data based on our requirements. Drag and drop here from calendar table to it. Add a shadow effect. In the ear slicer, we don't need the 2017 and 2018 selection. The reason is, if you notice, in data table, year column, we have years like 2019, 2020 and 2021. So let's remove 2017 and 2018 from the slicer. Next, duplicate the slicer. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop affiliate driven column from affiliate table to it. We have the result. Now let's add a shape. Select a shape, let's say a rectangle. Background color will be blue to match the rest of the visuals. Using the format option, send the shape backwards. Now, based on the slicer selection, our data will get updated dynamically. Simple as that. In the next video, we will learn more about this dashboard. Welcome back. In this video, we will create more visuals. Add a new page. Add the name as Sales Analysis. Let's create our first visual. Select a card visual. Drag and drop the measure. Total sales to it. Change the background color to blue. Change the font style to DIN and font size to 25. Change the font color to white. Add a shadow effect and a borderline.
Now, duplicate the visual two more times. Clear the existing selection. In the second visual, drag and drop total factored sales measure to it. Next, in the third visual, drag and drop sales difference measure to it. Change the format to percentage with two decimal places. Change the third card visual background to white and font color to black. Next, add a shape and change the background color to black. Using the format option, send the shape behind the visuals. Now, copy and paste the text box from previous page. Change the text as Sales Analysis. Now, select a card visual. Drag and drop the measure Average Sales to it. Font style will be DIN and font size will be 10. Change the background transparency to 100%. We don't need the category label, so remove it. Add a rectangle shape in black color and place the card visual above it. Change the font color to white. Add a text box with the text as Average Sales. Adjust the font size and place it next to the value.
Next, duplicate the text box and the card visual. Change the text to Average Opportunity Days. In the card visual, clear the existing selection. Drag and drop the measure average opportunity days to it. Now group the visuals together. Our next wish will show total sales vest factored sales by month. Duplicate a card visual. Change the chart type to line chart. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop month column from calendar table to x axis. Total sales measure to y axis. Total factored sales measure to Y axis. Change the title as Total Sales US Total Factored Sales by Month. Our next visual will display total sales by segment and country. Duplicate the visual. Change the chart type to decomposition tree. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop total sales measure to analyze. Country column from client table to explain by. Opportunity size column from opportunity table to explain by. Segment column from 
decline table to explain by. Total factored sales measure to tool tips. Change the title as Total Sales by Segment and Country. Adjust the font size. We have the result. Our next wish will display total sales by segment. Duplicate the visual. Change the chart type to tree map chart. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop segment column from client table to category. Total sales measure to values. Add data labels. Change the title as Total Sales by Segment. Our next wish will display Total Sales by Country. Duplicate the visual. Change the chart type to scatter chart. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop total sales measure to x axis. Country column from Location Table to Legend. Total Sales Measure to Size.
increase the marker size to 40. Change the text format and size. Change the title as Total Sales by Country. We have the result. Next, let's add a visual that shows Total Sales by Client. Duplicate the visual. Change the chart type to a matrix visual. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop. Client name column from Client table to Rows. Total sales measure to Values. Total sales measure again to values. Under drop down, select percentage of grand total. Rename it as percentage of grand total. Add a title as Total Sales by Client. Change the font style and font size. Add a conditional formatting, let's say data bars. Let's select blue color. Now, 
duplicate the visual three more times. In the second visual, replace client name column with product name column from products table. Change the title as total sales by products. In the third visual, replace client name column with opportunity size column from opportunity table. Change the title as total sales by opportunity size. In the fourth visual, replace client name column with affiliate column from affiliate table. Change the title as total sales by affiliate. We have the result. Next, let's add three slices. Copy and paste both slices from previous page. Click on sync. Duplicate a slicer. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop opportunity size column from opportunity table. Now, copy and paste the shape from prior page. Using the format option, send it backwards. Now, 
all our visuals are created. Save the file. Power BI files are saved in PBIX format. Now, based on the slicer selection, our data gets updated dynamically. Simple as that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a new way to analyze and visualize data using Power BI. See you again in another tutorial. Save and close the PBIX file. Until next time, you take care. Hey, congratulations! You have learned a new skill today. Now, it's time to take action. You need to start applying your new learnings at your workspace data to create impressive and dynamic data models, reports and dashboards. Your new skill set will help you stand out from the crowd and get noticed by the top management. Anytime you're stuck with doubts, we are there to help you. Your success and feedback is our motivation to create better contents. Until next time, you take care.